guys welcome back so I wanted to start today's video before it got too late and I've done some out of the house errands and stuff like that earlier today that I didn't take you guys along with me for but I'm back home now and I have tons more that I need to get done before tomorrow but first I wanted to kind of start today's vlog off with like a little haul if you will I did go by TJ Maxx and Marshalls I actually went to two TJ Maxx um, stores today and I picked up a couple of things that I just kind of wanted to share with you guys so the first thing I picked up isn't for myself I actually got this for my girlfriend but it's the belief um, bestsellers kit so crazy thing is though I got this one at or TJ Maxx yeah so I got this at TJ Maxx and um, the first one that I went to but then the second location had kind of like a similar set except for the moisturizer was like way bigger and I really wish I would have gotten that one for her just because the whole purpose of me getting this is because she needed a moisturizer and I went to Ulta but unfortunately their systems were down what was that I literally heard something okay their systems were down I literally heard something I don't know what it was but their systems were down and they were only accepting cash and I don't carry cash so yeah um, I got that for her this if you guys are interested just comes with like minis of it has their um, hydration filled uh, blah, 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 blah. no okay five minis of the best selling foam cleanser that's one skin luminizing essence two cult favorite bouncy gel cream that's three elasticity boosting eye cream four and their ultra hydrating sleeping mask so she has all of those things to kind of try out and play with she likes the aqua bomb without a doubt but the rest of this stuff i believe she has never tried before so she has that to try and then from TJ Maxx, I also picked up this Jap Japanese, I believe that's the brand. This is their Derma Dermaplaner Facial Razor. So instead of using, um, you know, the other kind of facial razor, I don't know why I'm talking slow, but instead of using the other one, this one is specifically made for dermaplaning. Um, so I do want to do that. I haven't shaved my face in a while, so I do want to do that. And I don't know when that'll be, but I'm thinking to make a video out of it. Just do like a nice like spa routine or spa night. Something. Something along those lines. I'm going to pamper myself. That's what. So like spa slash pamper routine or something. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But um, I also picked up this right here this is the biosance squalene hyaluronic acid toning mist so it is a mister so if we open her up and you guys know I love biosance um, skincare I'm currently using three of their products so this is just another one that I'm just gonna add in the rotation and it says can you guys see that it says that you guys can use this or that anybody can use this um, on clean dry face directly onto cotton pad with the cotton pad you can gently sweep over your face in a circular motion but you can also use it during like makeup application so i have that and then everyone should know at this point and if you don't know i'm gonna let you know um i enjoy dr jart masks so i picked these ones up i've never seen these before or have i tried them but the fact that they're the pore affecting or pore, 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 what? Pore, pore solution. That's what we gonna call it. Cause I don't know, it's throwing me for a loop. But um, that's what these ones are, sheet masks. And I cannot wait to try these. So I'm really excited for these ones. And it comes with five masks. So have those. I also still have some other ones from Dr. Jart. And those I get, I'm kind of selective with the skincare that I buy from TJ Maxx and Marshalls. I'm not going to lie. Like serums and stuff like that, unless it's a brand I'm like very well versed in, 
I'm really not buying it. Um, I just, my skin is a little bit more on the sensitive side when it comes to trying unknown products and things that I don't know a lot about. So um, I just stick to what I know when it comes to those kind of stores versus trying something like completely like new from Ulta or Sephora. I don't know. That's just, it's just how I am. Um, and then lastly, in terms of like skincare, I guess, but not really, but really, um, they had a lot of Jaclyn, uh, cosmetics and I am personally a fan of Jaclyn Hill. I love her and her, um, just everything about her, honestly. And I know that some people have controversy when it comes to her, but I'm not one of those who's against her. So, um, unfortunately I've never picked up her like line or any products from her line within Ulta but and honestly I've never really saw them nor did I make it a point to like look for them but I've also never just like randomly come across them either but they had a lot of her products and stuff they had beauty products as well like her blush palette I know the the um, it was this one palette romance something I think that she came out with that they had there as well and I believe those were the only two things and I didn't get the blush slash little blah, blah, blah blush slash bronzer duo because it was too light the bronzer was too light so I was like yeah there's no point in me buying this just for one of the two products but I did get this lip prep essentials kit so it comes with the lip scrub and a lip treatment so I'll let you guys know how I like and feel about this I've also also learned a new oh my feet are hurting um I'm sitting on my feet <sighs> I don't know why but I've also learned through TikTok I need to, hold on let me fix myself because I, I need to oh my leg <laughs> the signs of getting old older not old I needed to stretch my legs but um I don't really know what I was saying oh I will let you guys know how this goes but I've seen on TikTok I learned a new like trick hack whatever um this girl was saying that basically the skin under our eyes is different from the skin around you know and everywhere else on our face and also the skin on our lips is different from everything else as well so you basically if you're want to put it simply you have three different types of skin on your face alone um, eyes lips rest of your face maybe even your eyelids but that's neither here nor there at the end of the day when you do your skincare you need to take care of your skin right so not only do you moisturize and wash and add serums to your face but you also bring it down your neck and on your exposed chest area as well so you can kind of take care of all of that but when it comes to your lips like lip balms and stuff like that that we're putting on our lips for me i love the laneige lip mask i've fallen in love with the new fenty um, lip product as well which i use at night and i use it so sparingly because I just don't want it to run out and right now it's like non-existent on the shelves so I'm trying to keep that one going as long as I can until I'm able to uh, replenish and get more I mean I guess I could just order it online but I'm someone who just likes things like now but maybe I, I'm gonna put that with my Sephora order that I need to make but that's neither here nor there those are like what's the word A, <laughs> I'm not even gonna get into it like that but basically the stuff that like that that we're using on our lips and stuff it's not it's meant to like seal in whatever is underneath but what are you really putting underneath if all you're doing is just putting the lip mask on so basically the hack is the trick is if you didn't hear it on TikTok, you know you guys can take it from me but i am no skincare expert I can just tell you guys what I feel has worked for me and you guys you know do accordingly but I put um, a hydrating serum aka hyaluronic acid literally a little dot on my finger and then I just put it on my lips just like I would do lip chap and then I go on top with the lip balms whether it's the Laneige or the Fenty and then that just kind of seals everything in and you will have so she says softer smoother lips especially throughout the winter but i will say that so far i've been doing it for like the past three days 
and so far I have felt a difference in my lips um, not that I have really really severe dry lips but you know they can get a little chapped or not chapped but dry here and there and um, I just thought that was just like wow never thought to do that it makes so much sense but like I never thought to do that until she said that and I saw her video and I wish I knew her name or even saved the video um, but I didn't so therefore I can't even give her her proper credit but just know I didn't come up with that nor was that idea put into my head you know without her saying so so anyways just a little tidbit I don't know if y'all care or not um three more products to share with you guys so they like I said they had a lot of Jaclyn Hill um or Jaclyn Cosmetics products but they also have morphe products which they typically do that's normal brushes and all but they had this pack of the jacqueline hill morphe brushes now you guys know i have all of her brushes from this launch um i i bought the whole kit and caboodle and i love them they're like the main staples i would say probably the majority not probably the majority of the brushes that I use at least eyeshadow wise for sure is Morphe um, more specifically her collaboration well I guess Morphe and her collaboration eyeshadow brushes for sure um, face brushes and stuff like that I mean I have a lot of Morphe brushes but I also have some other like real technique and um, Sephora and you know other things of that nature but anyways because I love these brushes and I like them so much and to be honest, I'm going to show y'all at some point today because I have to clean my brushes, but I'm only cleaning a select few, but we'll talk about that when we get there. But because I know I love those brushes, I decided to pick up this set that was there. So this is, um, this says the Jaclyn Hill Remix Brush Set, bag one, eight piece. I don't know what that means, but yeah, we got some brushes. So I have those and then the last two products are hair products so in tomorrow's get ready with me that I plan on filming wow I've been talking a very long time I can talk <sighs> okay I'll move quickly I'm sorry so in tomorrow's get ready with me uh, I will be talking more about my hair but anyway um, I picked this up from TJ Maxx as well wow what did I get from Marshalls I think this Okay, so the Biosance came from Marshalls, and the face mask, Dr. Dark face mask came from Marshalls. I'm sorry. Everything else is from TJ Maxx. But, JVN, um, this is the Deep Moisture Mask. I love mask for the hair, so I want to give this a try because I've heard good things about, like, this brand in general. And I do know that they sell this brand at, uh, I want to say it's Sephora. Um, that they sell this brand at but of course I got it for $12.99 so I'm gonna give it a try and see how I feel about it and hopefully I love it so I got that and then I also picked up some bio silk silk therapy in the original formula for my hair as well because I see it in other places and I always forget to grab it so I saw it today and I was like let me get that before I forget again. But anyway, that is that on all the stuff that I got. But um, now, like I said, I have plenty to get done. Oh, I also got this phone case as well for my phone. I'm obsessed with getting new phone cases. It's kind of a problem. But honestly, I got this one because I got a black phone case. I ordered one off Amazon a while ago. And then when it came in, it kind of it fit. It fit but it didn't really fit and then it was like smushing the button so like it was just basically a no-go so when I saw this one um, I was like let me grab it because I have been wanting a black phone case real quick I just had to say this because I'm in my room right now in the studio and I'm working trying to figure out the setup and all that and I'm gonna be placing some portraits on the wall that I I got the prints from somewhere else, but the frames I got from Ikea. And tell me why I was today years old when I learned 
<laughs> that you're supposed to peel this top layer off of the frame thing. I always thought, like, I was like, I always thought, why would Ikea put this film thing, like, why would this be like this with these stamp things on it? Like, how am I supposed to hang up my pictures? Well, on TikTok, they taught me that you're supposed to peel it off somehow. I never knew that. So, I'm about to do so now. Look at that. I never knew this. Never knew it. Um, I hope I'm not the only one. If I am, that's fine. I'll be in this boat all by myself. But let me know. Did you guys know that you're supposed to peel the thing off? On, apparently on both sides of the um, frames? I just, I, I felt like that needed to be thrown out there and addressed. Because truly, I never knew that. Look at that. TikTok is good for some things, you know? Oh my gosh, that's so much better. Now I can protect my portrait. Good morning guys so um i've showered and everything now i'm getting ready to film my get ready with me i changed my setup in my room a little bit as you guys can see the frames that were once in my office are in here now but i'm going to talk a little bit about that in the get ready with me so um if you're curious as to what's going on in here definitely check that video out um will it be up before this vlog yes it should be so again if you want the scoop I guess on the room and what's going on in here check out that get ready with me I'm also using the what is new to me elf uh, halo glow liquid filter so this right here I'm using that or this not that this in today's video so I got everything prepped I'm so glad I was able to wash my brushes last night or some of them enough for me to like use for today's video even though I do have new brushes but I didn't want to use those um, and then I have a whole bin that I need to get cleaned but I have other things that I need to do today so between today and tomorrow my goal is by weekend's end to have all my brushes clean and then moving forward I need to stick to when I film and use brushes making sure that I wash them afterwards whether it's that day or the next day but only giving myself like a two-day grace period to wash my brushes because the pile up is ridiculous all right y'all it is 12 53 I just finished filming I literally had to take my lashes off and reapply them because I don't know if it's the fact that I've been doing the DIY lash extensions for so long that I forgot how to put on falsies the normal way um but we're good now i think we're secured um yeah anyway i'm about to get dressed uh really just throwing on some chill clothes because 
literally i'm just running errands target a oh, good errands fun errands in my opinion so target we got to go to fresh market we may or may not have to go to either walmart or publix just depending on if the fresh market doesn't have some of the um, food items that i need but that is the plan for today but i'm so happy i was able to film more content for you guys you know i'm trying to stay on top of all of that and i do want to do a tiktok later just something really like doesn't take much time i want to basically do like a review for the if you guys remember from yesterday's haul the jacqueline lip combo scrub and moisturizer balm whatever anyway but i'm gonna get dressed but look at roxy Look at her. She just loves being in here with me. And she's very quiet when I film, which is nice too. And I just love that little girl. I would bring her with me to, you know, run my errands today, but it's a lot trying to push a cart, gather all the things that I need to get because it's not like I'm going out for one or two things. Um, and on top of pushing a stroller, it's just is a lot so I'm gonna have to leave her at the house today but I'm thinking to depending on the weather maybe I can take her to the dog park tomorrow um, we'll see because I feel like even though it's only 12 me leaving to run all these errands is gonna take a while to where by the time I get back it's gonna be kind of pointless to take her to the dog park today but it looks really nice outside and it seems like today would have been a good day but I'm hoping tomorrow will be good as well so we'll just have to play it by ear I heard you good with them soft lips yeah you know word of mouth the square root of 69 is a sum right cuz I've been trying to work it out uh, go white wine uh, I come alive And finish, girl. The things that we could do in 20 minutes, girl. Say my name, say my name. Wear it out. It's getting hot. Crack a window. Air it out. I can get you through a mighty long day. Soon as you go, the text that I write is gonna say. Okay, you guys. I'm finally home. First of all, there's a lot of people in Target. I've never seen so many people in Target. I'm like, like you would think they had a sale going on. But let me show you guys really quickly all the groceries and everything that I got. Then I'm not even gonna lie, I'm going to wash my face, take this makeup off, get comfortable, and kind of see what I'm like after that. I am gonna cook some um, dinner, but after that, I do need to do some editing, honestly. That's really what I need to do. But We'll see when I get into it. But let me show you guys what I got from all the stores that I went to. I went to Target, Fresh Market, and I had to go to Walmart because I didn't find what I needed at the other two places. But let's get into this little haul, if you will. So for anyone who cares, these are my contacts. All right, so I have everything laid out already. I've taken it out the bag. Um, I got some frozen green peas. I got some high chews just because I've had like a little bit of a sweet tooth lately so i picked these up this looks so good i'm so hungry i haven't eaten it yet but this is from fresh market this is a um roasted chicken salad croissant and it just looks delicious look at that so i'll probably have this for lunch tomorrow since i am going to be cooking dinner um pizza rolls that's for me i know it's not the healthiest thing to be eating but i love me some pizza rolls I restocked my oat milk because I ran out of literally all of these things. I got some 2% um, milk, but the lactase kind. I drink lactose-free milk these days. Um, and then I have this creamer here. I used to get the Cold Stone, Cold Stone one, but um, 
yeah, I don't know if they did away with that or what. So this might be the replacement, but this is actually really good. The Sweet and Creamy Delight Creamer. I wish they had the bigger one, but I did pick this one up from Target. I also got the ice cream that I'm loving at the moment. One of these mini almond uh, magnum ice creams. So good. The white chocolate one is really good as well. And there's another one, I believe, that's really good as well. I think you guys seen me eat that in a previous vlog. But anyway, moving on. I got some hot chips. These are the Cape Cod Kettle Cooked Potato Chips in Sweet and Spicy Jalapeno. So it's sweet, but it has a little kick to it. So I love that. My chicken thighs that I'm going to be making for dinner. And then down here, these are just like quick meals, if you will. I've never seen DiGiorno have the little mini ones. Normally I buy the big ones. So I got this one for me. This is Supreme. And then I got Bubby this one. And this is Chicken Alfredo. So hopefully she likes it. Um, then I restocked my, uh, what do you call these? My Nespresso Pods. So I got this one right here. So this makes about um, 8 ounces. Well, actually it's 7.77 fluid ounces, which is almost a whole cup of coffee. Um, and it's the Veranda Blend. And then I also get these espresso ones, the Blonde Espresso. So got those to restock. And then I picked up two of these because every time I go to the store and get these, by the way, these are so good. These are chicken sausage, and it's Italian style. And every time I go to get them, I always buy one and then regret the fact that I didn't get more. So I picked up two this time. And then I got some gum for Bubby because she loves this gum, Polar Ice. I don't know. I haven't been able to find it in the pack, but I literally had to buy two individually. And then I got her some oatmeal. This is the Kodak oatmeal. I got two different kinds, chocolate chip and also um, maple brown sugar. So those two are for her. Picked up some potatoes, some sweet onions, some baby bella mushrooms. I got the whole ones because I like to just cut them up myself. And then I also picked up some avocados as well to do some avocado toast. And then some Fiji water. Freaking hurt right now. Love me some Fiji water. I got Bubby a new um, Purell hand sanitizer for his car. Roxy has to go outside. Roxy, you gotta go outside. I gotta take you out in a second. Okay, um, and then I got these moisturizing hand sanitizer wipes from Dove to keep in my car, so I need to actually put that back in there. And then I got some more uh, garbage bags and some paper towels if you guys care. Also, back here, I almost forgot, I got my kettle. So, my uh, frother is the same brand, the Bodium from Target, and I really love the way the kettle looks, the electric kettle. So, I got this one instead of getting the one from Walmart that I was going to get originally. So, I have that now so I can make my matcha nice cream, all that good stuff, because the Keurig did everything for me before and now that I have an espresso I still have the Keurig but instead of having to pull that Keurig out all the time now I have the little different pieces that I need for everything and then some laundry detergent I'm gonna re-up on that as well I am currently on my way to my nail appointment as you guys can see I have no nails on I went I want to say about two weeks ago and just had them at a different salon just do a gel French tip on my natural nail just to give it some time to breathe uh, because I don't when I get my acrylic sets normally I only leave them on for maybe four weeks and then I'm ready to take them off and do a whole new set you know and then the cycle just repeats itself and I don't think well I know for a fact actually acrylic is not great for your nails it's actually bad really but I love long nails so I've been thinking about switching over to just doing gel X which I have decided that I am gonna do but I'm gonna slowly transition over to that I have to order everything that I need um, so in the meantime in between time I'm gonna go get another full set of acrylics now but going to straight gel X once I get everything that I need for that process. I mean, it's not a lot of stuff, but I have been like two weeks with 
my nails looking like this and I just can't do it anymore. So I made an appointment with my nail tech and um, I'm gonna get them done. There is a design that I have in mind that I've been wanting, honestly. Um, so I'm gonna have her do that. I'm just debating if I'm gonna do white or if I'm gonna do like a, a pink for Valentine's Day or whatever, you know, cause February is right around the corner. And so I'm gonna figure that out. I'm almost there. And then later today, I know I need to finish um, editing some stuff. I do wanna film at least a TikTok, if not two. I filmed beauty content yesterday. And I know you guys saw that I picked up the um, uh, shade medium for the e.l.f. foundation. And I was gonna try it today. I might actually do that video for TikTok. We'll see, I don't know. But I do wanna film a TikTok, if not two TikToks. So that's what I'm doing now. On my way there, I will show you guys my nails, you know, when I get out of my appointment. And I'm really hoping that it doesn't take more than like maybe an hour, hour and a half. It is a full set that tends to take a little bit longer than just going to get a fill, but just finished with my nails and let me just say that I have realized how bad it feels to really use for your nails like I knew this but like never really paid attention but for some reason like I was just paying attention to everything today when she was doing my nails and don't get it twisted I love the way my nails came out but I really cannot wait to start the journey of getting gel -X. So let me show you guys the nails. They look so good. This is kind of similar to like the snake skin look that I did um, with the coffin, which is on my Instagram if you guys want to see that. Although you don't use um, acrylic powder, it's not like 3D, kind of, I guess. And then I've also done another set where I had like tip or French, if you will, in different ways on each finger. And then I believe she did this um, snake thingy. I don't know what to call it, but this 3D design on select fingers. But yeah, I love, love, love my nails and the way that they came out. She does a good job, a great job, like, you know, damn near every time. I wish it were just almost every time. Like, I would say 95%. It's been maybe once or twice once that I can remember, but it might have been twice that, okay, maybe I wasn't crazy about what I got done, but it wasn't, like, horrible or anything, but she does a really good job, though. So, um, now that this is done, I'm feeling more like myself. I'm just using this Dove moisturizing wipe. She did, I don't know what that other thing is over there. She did, um, put you know, oil and stuff on my nails, but when I get home, I'm going to take off the rest of, like, some acrylic that's still kind of left on my hand that I was unable to wash off in the sink, and she did use a little bit of lotion, but I don't really like that lotion, so I'm just cleaning my hands with this. So this is the Dove Moisturizing Hand Sanitizer Wipes. This is the aloe and palm eucalyptus scent. I'm actually going to pick up a couple more of these because these are really nice. So it's just very moisturizing on your hand, but it's also sanitizing it at the same time, which is great. So I'm just using that. I'm going to head over to Tropical Smoothie and pick up lunch for myself and my girlfriend. And I believe my brother-in-law and my aunt are coming over. Um, so they're probably here after this by the time I get there. But like I said, your girl needs to edit today. Look. You can tell I'm feeling myself with my nails because my hands 